If you have a large amount of credit card debt and are only making the minimum payment every month, you're not going to pay it off anytime soon. In fact, if you only make minimum payments, it could be decades before you find yourself debt free again. Say for example you have $10,000 in credit card debt, which is represented by the water level in this glass. In order to pay off that $10,000, you'll need to empty that entire glass by returning the money you owe to your credit card company. So every month you pour out a little water by making your minimum payment, which is on average around $142. That payment lowers the total amount you owe to $9,858. That's a little bit lower, but not much. Unfortunately, there are outside influences that can raise that amount, mainly being interest. Interest normally charges you around 17% of your outstanding balance at the end of every month. After 17% interest on your outstanding balance is charged, that brings your new debt amount to $9,999. So after one month, you've paid your credit card company $142, but your total debt has only gone down by one. The next month, if you still only make the same minimum payment of $142, your debt will be down to $9,857. But again, there's that pesky interest sneaking up on you. So after paying 17% interest again, your debt is back up to $9,998. That means after paying your credit card company $284, your total debt has only gone down by 2 bucks. After a year of making that same minimum payment every month, you'll have paid your credit card company $1,846, but you'll still owe $9,995. That means it'll take you an entire year just to lower your debt by $5. And a year later, you've only lowered what you owe your credit card company by another $5. Eventually, you'll see that if you took action to lower your debt, the money you're paying the credit card company could go towards things that you'd much rather have, like a used car, or a brand new car, or part of your child's college education, or even grad school. Then, after a quarter century and more than $40,000, your debt will only be $1,578 less. Only after 35 years without a single late or missed payment will you finally start to see some progress when you have a little more than $1,000 left to pay. Then, after 36 years of paying $142 minimum payments and 17% interest every month, you will finally have paid off your entire $10,000 of debt. But in order to pay off that $10,000, you've taken more than three and a half decades of your life and spent more than sixty grand. Just imagine if you had an extra $61,060. You could have used that for anything from shopping and vacations to paying your mortgage or rent. Or you could just set it aside for retirement. You could even have spent that money on your children or grandchildren. Because even if you didn't have them before you got into debt, you could wind up with both of them after 36 years.